521 on this Wednesday morning. We are still tracking a few showers out across eastern Colorado. There's nothing real significant out there, but you see the green on the map there. Sky scan showing from just to the north of La Junta down through about Springfield. Uh, we're done with any thunder and lightning, and eventually those will come to an end as well. The sky has been clearing along the front range. It's a little bit hazy. There's still some water in the air. I actually had to run my defrosters on my way in this morning. 49 degrees at Dutch Heritage Gardens. The wind up there is calm at the moment. We're 61 currently in Pueblo West. There's the back edge of some of the clouds that are responsible for the showers that we were just showing you over parts of southeastern Colorado. Looks a bit cloudy out near Los Animas, too. 63 at last check. Light breeze out of the northwest is just six miles an hour currently. Highs today a little warmer in the 80s to lower 90s. The question will be how much water is left in the atmosphere come thunderstorm time. And we do think enough to keep some storms in the forecast. I don't know that we'll have any severe weather right along or west of I-25, but as these storms track east, there should still be enough water in the atmosphere for some of these to get pretty strong. So at the very least, some heavy rain and some small hail. And then possibly once again, hail getting close to severe criteria around an inch in diameter and perhaps some strong wind gusts. Those will continue to cruise eastward here through the evening hours and then eventually move off into Kansas. Then overnight tonight, we should clear things out. Drier air will continue to try to work into the area overnight tonight. And so tomorrow, it looks like a lesser chance for any showers and thunderstorms, at least right here along I-25. We may yet have to track the potential for some storms over the far eastern plains, as well as maybe some brief showers over some of the mountain areas. But as a whole, the trend here will be to dry out and warm up as we head towards the weekend. So the weekend looks very nice with mid-80s, a lot of sunshine around during the afternoons. Overnight lows should be in the 50s. The next cold front of melt probably won't show up until Monday or Tuesday. So when that happens, we'll get cooler and, and maybe see another round of storms that could actually produce some decent rain. Well, you can pick up some rain today. I just think the storms are going to be spotty or along the front range. We're looking at about a 10 to 20 percent coverage. And then after today, I think you're done for a little while. Highs will get comfortable in the 90s. I don't know if it'll be comfortable for you, but it uh, doesn't look like much change for several days. Overnight lows down around 60. And then we'll start to cool off a little bit early next week, more so on Tuesday when a chance for storms could occur again. Canyon City, expect your temperatures to be hovering near 90 the next several afternoons. Overnight lows in the 60s. I think the rain chances will end after today outside of maybe some sprinkles. But uh, for the most part, today's your best chance for a little while until maybe next Tuesday when we could have temperatures back in the mid-80s. Tyler County, we're looking for temperatures to likely hover in the 70s for a little while here. Overnight lows in the 40s and lower 50s. Uh, again, the showers and storms today could be decent rainmakers. I think after today, we're talking about spits and sprinkles or just real quick showers for the next couple of days. But th that's just kind of to cover myself because the mountains kind of do that to me every once in a while. Weekend looks pretty dry. All right. Just uh, be careful. Don't get spit on. Out there. <laughs> it happens. Nobody wants that. No. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Now we'll check back.